Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing some more Ark Survival Evolved, but this time I'll actually be playing the Windows 10 store version. Now there are some differences from this version compared to the Steam version, one being that the draw distance and some of the overall detail has been reduced, even when you're using the Epic settings. I am playing at 3840 by 2160 using the Epic settings. I've disabled Light Bloom as it makes it very, very difficult to see while flying when it's bright and everything else is maxed out even camera field of view has also been maxed out so um, I've done the best I can to make the game look as visually pleasing as possible now in terms of performance um, you do tend to run most of the time above 60 frames per second which is great and um, uh, the Windows Store version is a lot more um, what I would say uh, stable because uh, the uh, Steam version used to crash just out of the blue and you know sometimes you'd be flying and then you, you could lose a dino or you could die it's annoying as hell but the windows version is a lot more stable so anyway i'm just getting back into the game um basically started from scratch again this is a brand new file so i'm playing on the uh, multi uh this is like the cross play server you can see that there napve cross play official so i'm playing with people from the xbox as well um so Player versus environment. I did try a bit of player versus player, but um, it gets a bit old when you keep dying and get keep on getting raided by people with mechs and things like that. It just the game's so unbalanced; it's just ridiculous. So I just stopped playing player versus player. It didn't really make any sense. Um, so this is the base that I've started building. Um, got all my fridges there. Got five fridges downstairs, two grills. I've, it's my little hatchery where I do my raising of my eggs. I've got um, some tech rexes that I was um, able to buy off someone off, off this server. So I've got these all in the fridge. So what they've added in the game is like a pod where you can, it's almost like a like alien type pokeball in a way. So you can keep all your dinosaurs in this little pod and you have to keep it refrigerated. And then of course you put them in the fridge for the most part, keeps them fresh for a long time. So. These are my eight tech rexes and they're good for 49 days. I've got a few other dinos in here as well, uh, like a few um, megalodons and things like that, but that's for another day. So I've added the universal grinder, helps you get levels up. I've got the fabrication um, machine that helps build stuff. And I've just got loads and loads of boxes. I need to start building some, uh, some vaults. Anyway, I'm gonna go on harvest some metal so I can build a vault today as I do need when I'm running out of space for all my stuff so I'm gonna get on to my Argentivis here let's close my door and I'm gonna go and pick up my Ankylosaur this is my uh, Giganotosaurus very very good for collecting meat to feed your new baby dinosaurs that are very very demanding when it comes to raising. I raised eight tech rexes at once and man they go for a lot of meat so this is my uh, industrial forge. This is where you can um, melt um, ore. It essentially allows you to make um, ingots which is used to create metal and a lot of things and it's almost like the universal currency of the game when you're trading things with other players on the, the server. Usually they go for ingots, but sometimes people want specific things, but I'm going to pick up my Ankylosaurus now and go to the mountain where you can harvest crystal and steel. I do need to get the ingredients to uh, make this vault. I need to make at least two of them, I think, because I've got so much stuff that I need to put away. I don't want too many big storage boxes around. Now the rubbish thing about Ark is all the assets need to stream in. So when you're playing online like this and you're going past someone's really, really big base, all of the assets start streaming in quite slowly. So <laughs> it does look pretty, looks pretty silly. But once you've been playing the game for a while, you just get used to it. But you know, the joys of playing on the online environment. I mean, if in the future when internet and things get better, I believe if they ever make an Ark 2, they should be able to make a better implementation of how um, the the assets are managed because when you just see things streaming in block by block it's kind of comical at times so anyway it seems that the mounting is fresh no one's came to harvest the metal 
So as you can see, there's normal rocks that are quite grey and um, bronzy, but then you've got ones that are like gold. They're the ones that contain a lot of metal, so that's that's what you want to be hitting. So I'm just going to drop my Ankleosaur over here. But there is a Predator down there. But the good thing is about my uh, Ankleosaur, it is it's quite strong. So I can actually get on this and kill this. It's got a very, very high attack. So this thing is going to come and attack my Argentibus, but I'm just going to kill it. Argentibus isn't fighting back because I've set its behavior to be passive. As I don't want it flying off. So that was a quite easy thing to kill because this Ankleosaur is a really, really high level and it's got really, really high attack. But anyway, I came up here for... Uh, metal so that's what I'm gonna start doing so yeah another thing about playing online is uh, you do get some rubber banding so uh, every now and then you'll be pulled back um, my characters first so I just need to quickly have a quick swig on my uh, canister there so as you can see I'm gathering loads of metal 248 metal just from that one um, deposit now, the higher the attack of your Anklia saw, the more um, resource you can gather. I'm actually playing on a weekend, so it, there is an evolution event at the moment. So, um, harvesting levels are two times the normal rate. So, if you're wondering why I'm getting so much, it is because I'm playing with on the evolution event today. I'm not really interested in crystal, as I do have a lot of it, but um, sometimes you do need it for other things so I'm just going to grab as much as I can I'm also gathering stone at the same time I don't need stone so I'm going to be throwing that down because it just adds to the weight that I've got to carry Now the best way to play this game really is if you just want to do your solo, really is to play offline. But one thing I like about the player versus environment online is that you get to interact with people. You get to form alliances. People um, know really, really good tips. And if you need things, you can actually just sell them. So um, where I started from scratch, I needed a Wyvern. I needed an Argentina, so I needed a good Anklia. So all of these things that I bought, some people are even kind enough to donate donate things. So when you're a new player, some some of the stronger players on the game um, will give you stuff for free. But it's best not to ask for it. It's kind of like, um, you know, you kind of meet them through normal trades. And then if you mention that you're new and things like that, they may opt to help you out. But... You get a lot more respect for just trying to get through the game yourself without, you know, begging for things. Right, there's only a few more deposits left and then I'm going to get out of here. I want to put all of this steel into my uh, universal uh, forge and I'll get this all melted down and I'll just look at all the other ingredients I need for a vault. Now, another thing on this game is you need to constantly try to level up so you can actually unlock all of the um i forgot what they're called now but basically you have to unlock skills and uh, they come some skills are locked away depending on the level that you are oh uh, look at the size of that person's base that is ridiculous can you imagine how long that would have took to build but you know a lot of some people really really take the time to do these things and they've obviously got tribe mates as well so it kind of helps out but I'm kind of doing this solo, so things do take quite long. I think that's about it in terms of metal that I need. So I'm going to just go and get my Argentibus and uh, get back to my base. So you can see someone over there. Let me just get my... Um, can't really lock onto it. It's a little bit hard to use the uh, spyglass, but you can see someone there, another player just flying around. It's hard to uh, lock onto the position that they are. 
Yeah, there they are. Or well, they were there for a few seconds and they, they went. But anyway, you can see other players just playing the game as you're playing it. And it's kind of cool to, to do that, to just interact with other people. Because even though it's just the island, the, the world is pretty big. And uh, when you meet people, it's kind of like, wow, there's another person playing. Let me have a word with them and we'll see what they're doing. Alright, so that's pretty much all the metal I need. I'm just going to check my... Find my way back to my base. Now, one another annoying thing is the fog on this game. It's just ridiculous. It just really blurs your vision. You can't really see where you're going. But when you've been playing the game for a long time, you, you kind of just know where everything is anyway. So, um, it won't be hard for me to get back to my base because I know where I'm going. But um, let's talk a little bit more about performance. Uh, but you do get a lot better performance on the Windows version over the Steam version. And um, honestly, the reason is the Steam version has better graphics. But ultimately, that's what that's the truth of it. Like the Steam version has far greater um, draw distance and uh, far greater mesh levels. Um, but the game still looks good on Epic settings regardless, but uh, that's why it performs so much better. It is so hard to see with all of this fog, but um, I'm nearly at my base now. Okay, yeah, so I just gotta keep going straight forward. I wish people would stop using global chat as much and just use local. Because you just end up reading weird conversations that you've got nothing to do with. So this is my base. Just about found it. It's gonna drop off my Anclear saw and put everything in the forge. So the Universal Forge is certainly worth it. This thing melts metal like nothing. And if you try to do it the normal way with, uh, um, s there's other ways you can melt the metal. I forgot what the other device is called, but that just takes too long. You really want to be building one of these as quickly as possible. The only thing is it takes a lot of resources to make one of these, but it's definitely worth it. Keep the crystal with me. I'm going to put that somewhere else. And you get about 100 ingots per 200 ore. So if my math is correct, should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I should get 1,100 from this. And that should be enough. With the amount of ore that I already have, it should be enough. I need to go and get some fuel. This obviously runs off fuel. And that will be downstairs. So I'm going to quickly go and get that. Just jump down here. Hurt myself a little bit, but it's no big deal. Alright, I think I've got some fuel in here. Mm, maybe I've got some in my cooker that I can take out. So I've took my time to build pretty much all of the industrial items that you can because they are necessary so it just makes your life a lot easier i'm gonna put away this crystal i don't want to walk around with this it's really really heavy all right that's better okay so what i use i kind of use my giga as a little bit of a, a lift because it's so tall um and you can leave it outside because nothing will dare to attack this this is pretty much the apex predator of the game um, you can just, I can kind of just jump off of its head and land on top of my roof. So it's kind of convenient. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some fuel in this now. And that will deal with all of that, um, all of that metal. I just want to double check 
how much ingredients I need or what items, materials do I need to make the vault. There's so many skills I can still learn, but I'm saving them until I really need them. I've got pretty much everything I need at the moment. So the vault, you need 100 cement in place, 500 ingots, 70 oil, and 90 polymer. So I think I'll be okay. I think I've got enough items to get this done. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take some of these ingots down and build a few of these, at least one. I'm a little bit too far away. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop one of these on the floor and pick it up later. So I'm gonna put this in my Argentibus. Right, I'm gonna let that just burn down. I'm gonna go through my sky roof here. Just saves time, really. I think you can only make the vault from the... Let's take this out. So this is the fabrication, fabrication machine. What I'll be using. I've got plenty of... Plenty of... Uh, materials. I just need to get more polymer. And I need to get more cement in place. I think I've got some over here. Double check. Alright, that's all hide. That's all trophies. Hmm, maybe we've got some downstairs. I'm just going to quickly go downstairs. If not, I'm going to have to go looking for some. But that's okay, I know. It's best to go to a beaver's den to go and get that. Double check in here. Yeah, i got some in here, so that's okay. But you got you end up collecting so much stuff over the over the process of playing the game that you forget where you put everything. All right, so you need cement in place, and you need um, what's this called? Obsidian to make polymer. We'll put this all in. I'm going to make some polymer first. I need about 90 of that. So make as much as we can. I've only got 14 available. But we may have to go and get some obsidian. That sucks. But that's okay. I want to fly my wife and I'm going to do that. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to go and get some obsidian very quickly. I know where there's a deposit at a volcano. So I can go there. So this is my greenhouse. I have all sorts of plants growing here. Right now I'm growing um, the berries, the narco berries, because uh, I'm just stacking up on all of my narcotics, because I want to be taming some high level diners later. You can never have enough narcotics. Anyway, this is my level 256 lightning wyvern. This is a certified alpha dino killer. One of my powerfulest dinos that I've got. And the fastest, one of my fastest dinos as well. So I'm gonna go to the volcano now and uh, go and get some, um, just gonna eat some food. I'm gonna go and get some uh, obsidian. So you can fly through redwood, but you have to be careful because there are some Balakio, I think it's Balakio, fire, fire whatever it's called. Um, it's like some kind of bear type lion that kind of hangs on the side of these um, these trees and they jump off on you. If you're low enough, they'll just take you straight off your wyvern. So you gotta be careful. Right, I'm just gonna fly up to the mountain now, the volcano, go and get some obsidian. I need about another 100 pieces and that'll do. But yeah, the game does perform a lot better on the Windows 10 version. Just doesn't look as good. So if you look at the draw distance, everything looks quite um, bare. On the Steam version, you'll see quite a lot of detail. You'll see all the dinos and things like that. So 
there are some compromises, but I think the game is definitely more balanced, even with the reduced detail from distance. Right, so we got some obsidian deposits here. I just need to park my wyvern here so I can uh, get to it when I'm done. I'll get out my uh, my pick. But out of all of that, I only got four pieces of obsidian. That is disappointing. I don't want to fall off of this. I got to be very careful. Another 12 pieces. I don't know if there's any more over here. No, we'll have to find some more. We're just going to go down a lot more safer. If you fall off of this, you more than likely will die. Alright, so I'm going to land over here. Looks like someone else is here because their uh, Argentibus is just here. That's strange. Here's some obsidian here. So when you see you're getting nothing, it means that the usually means that the server needs to catch up with itself. So probably gonna get a rubber band in effect in a moment where I just yeah, let's see. It's a bit of annoying, but you get used to it. I'm trying to get about a hundred pieces in total. That should be enough for me to build a vault. The vault holds so much stuff. I'm just going to stick all of my uh, hide. I've got so much hide knocking around my base. I just need to put it all in one place. The reason I collect so much hide is because when you want to make the more advanced um, saddles, you need like ridiculous amounts of it. So every time I get hide, I never throw it away because you're going to need it at some point. All right, that should do it. Uh, let's see how much we've got. So I've got played my OSD very quickly. I've got 92. So you essentially you get half of um, the obsidian that you you kind of craft in the fabricator. So I'll get about um, you know I'll get enough really to to build the, the 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 what's it called the vault. So that's the main thing. I'm gonna get out of here now. Go back to base. It's getting pretty late as well, so it's going to get really, really dark soon. Which is another challenge in itself, so... It's good when you're strong enough to survive on the island, um, but when you're uh, a low level, everything is terrifying. You can just get killed by pretty much everything. So you can see it's such a big world. There's so much to do. There's so much to go. I mean, if you were try to circumnavigate this whole island on foot, it would take you a very, very long time, so... Just imagine the scale of a sequel to Ark would be. They could pretty much put what you'd consider maybe three expansions in one world. That would just be amazing. I'd love to see what an Ark 2 would look like with the arrival of the new consoles. And obviously PC hardware is already ready, but optimized correctly, um, they could really make something really, really special. And the funny thing about me playing Ark because when I first played it I was really um, quite you know critical of it I didn't really like the performance I thought it was just a cash grab in terms of the devs just don't really give a damn they just thought they would get as much money as possible because I was playing it in early access but even in early access um, I could see the appeal of the game it, the actual idea of it is really really good it's just that um, the uh, programmers just needed a bit more experience, I think, and, um, you know, the game still has its flaws today, but generally, you can play it from start to finish, which is the main thing. you got games like Star Citizen that are still in development and may not even reach the kind of vision that the creator intends due to just the lack of, of, of hardware and things like that, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll definitely get that game once it's finished, but I'm just not interested in supporting it 
while it's been developed. So this is going to take a little bit more time. I'm just going to drop some more ingots that I got here. I'm just going to dive down here as well. So close this. So I need some extra light. I do have some light sources that someone was good enough to give to me. So crack one of those open. Throw that on the floor. That'll be fine. Okay, let's get the rest of the materials ready. We can great create ourselves a vault. I think that will be everything after that. Let's put these guys over here. All a bit unorganized at the moment. So you can see people asking for dinos to buy and things like that. So it's uh, as for all the servers I've played on, this community is pretty good. I've played on a few that are less than helpful. But generally, everyone's quite helpful, especially to new players. So as long as you're like polite, then you more than likely will get helped out. Okay, so we've got enough now. So I can actually cancel the rest of that because there's enough to create the vault now. So let's see what we can do. So I've seen a bit more oil, and I think I've got some downstairs. Seems I've got everything downstairs at the moment. Right, I need to crack open another light here. I really need to add some lights downstairs. So I just need to build another generator and get those hooked up. That's for another day. But there's little touches like that need to be done. Yeah, I've got some oil here. That should do it. So Ganja Dave saying, I need you have any diners to sell anyone selling anything. I'm just gonna ask the guy what does he want. waiting for the network to catch up as you can see okay that should be enough okay so one volt coming up what I'm gonna do is destroy what I plan on doing is destroying one of uh, these boxes like this that's putting it all over here. But it's probably best for me to have it close to the fabricator because it's probably where I'll be doing most of my building, so. What have I got in here? So I've got loads of hide. I'm just gonna destroy this real quick and let's replace it with a, with a vault. And I'll be making a few more of these as well. I need at least three. Put that there. Could be a little bit more snug against the wall. Let me just pick this up. Do that again. That's better. Okay. So now I've got somewhere I can put all of my hide because I've got so much of this stuff. It's ridiculous. And this is what's taking up most of the room in my uh, in, in my base. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff. It's very very common, but you need loads and loads of it when you are building high end saddles. So just to make it easier for me, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away in here where I can, of course. Let me just take all of this out again. 
I just gets everywhere. Let's put this away. Put that away. So it just allows me to just kind of drag and drop everything in one go. And I can kind of work out how much height I actually have as well, which is a good thing. Let's take out this. It doesn't belong there. That can go in here. Let's hide in here too. Just hide it everywhere. Just want to consolidate in one place. Let's hide in here. Let's hide. Let's hide in here too. Yeah, let's go wait for the network to catch up. So lag does become quite annoying. I, I can't lie, but um, one of our flaws again. They really, for the amount of money they've made, they really should be. They, sh they really should have better servers. It has to be said. All right. Let's see how much space I got left. Yeah, quite a lot. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get. All of the hide that I've got downstairs as well. I know I've got some in here. Right, metal. That's narcotics. Right, this miscellaneous stuff. These are all of my chibi dinos. What else do we have? Hide. There's so much hide. So glad I built this vault just to put it every, put it all in one place. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yeah, and that is pretty much most of the hide taken care of. There's a bit too much hide in my smithy. I'm gonna take some of this back. That should do. Let us put all the rest away. So that is about it. I'm just gonna go up to my go up to my uh, industrial forge and uh, turn that off. That should have smithed all of the metal now. Really should have melted it all. I'm gonna count how much hide I got later once it's all full. I'm gonna take my owl and go up there. See, I don't really need anything. I can just go up there on my wyvern. So it's when it's really dark, you do see a lot of stars. Um, um, in and they actually twinkle as well if you look close enough, which is pretty cool. In the in the console version, it's literally just like a a bitmap. It, it looks so fake, but on the PC version, it's a lot more realistic. So the PC version or Arc is definitely the best version without question. All right, let's see if this has all been done. Ah, oh, just a little bit more. But I'll do that when I come back on, so... I think I'll leave it there, guys. That is pretty much... I'm just going to jump down as quickly as possible. That is pretty much it. Just a quick look at Ark Survival Evolved and some of the things that I get up to while I'm playing. So i got a lot to work on. It's a new file after all, but... I if you enjoyed this video, just let me know in the comment section. I'll give it a thumbs up and I'll bring you guys a lot more. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.